What's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down a new sample. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Here's the sample. It has a couple sections, actually. It's like five sections. So it all started off with this melody up here. So the first thing I did, I went to the Celesta in the acoustic section right here in contact vector library number two. The melody is very simple and it's without any effects on it. So I kept it like this. The effects I added to it was I start off with the Soothe just to get rid of some, some harsh frequencies. After that, I added a delay eternity, ping pong lo-fi, and I changed it to one fourth right here with the like uh, timing of it, of, of the delay. And finally, EQ, taking out more of the high frequencies and some of the muddy low end. And now the sample sounds like this. So I took that, I exported to a audio file, pitched it down three semitones, and I reversed it. And now it sounds like this. That's the first section. Then I duplicated this and made this part unique. And the only thing I changed was the pitch. So I pitched up one octave from the other one. And now it sounds like this. That's these two right here, and they just loop after each other throughout the whole sample. After that, I just want to add some textures to the sample, so I added this pattern right here. That sound is from Analog Lab by HZE, the Affection preset. It's from the Eclipse Bank, and here's the pattern. Very simple. After that, I added this melody right here. It's this preset right here, the chord holds two. It's from the Divinity Serum Bank. And here's the pattern without any effects on it. I added a delay eternity. I just copy pasted the original that was on the main melody. After that, I added a reverb to it. And also an EQ taking out some of the low muddiness. And now the Serum preset sounds like this. So the basis from Omnisphere is from the Moog Tribute Library and it's a dirty lowrider. Sounds like this right here. And that's the whole A section of the sample. So for the B section, basically duplicated everything over except the except the serum lead because I made a different serum lead right here and it sounds like this. There's like a weird glitch in it right here. Here's the pattern for it. So basically it's the same drop note as every other bar, it's the E note. And then right here, I just clicked a bunch of random notes at the same time, multiple times throughout the melody. And I like this one the most and it sounds like this. The second part of the sample. Now for the third section, it's basically the first section without the bass line. You don't have to EQ out the bass when you add drums to it. And same thing right here. This is basically this section without the bass line. And then just for some switch ups right here, I kept the first pattern and the second pattern. And I also added a little pad from Omnisphere. And it's this one right here, also from the Moog Tribute. It's this preset, more on full drone. And the pattern looks like this and it sounds like this. So as you can see, the, the release is super high, it doesn't fade out. So I just exported it, and then I just chopped it up and made made it fade out like this instead. I also pitched it down one octave because it was too like harsh in this frequency range. So here's the final section. That's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you all in the next video.